Hi everyone, this is Mike Igliola for Student Stock. Um, not all of you have gone on Student Stock and uh, put uploaded your pictures, so I'm going to highly recommend that. And if you do, you're probably going to hear from a guy named Scott. Um, he looks at every single picture that comes in here. Hey, Scott, come here. With a uh, bring it. <laughs> when he's not looking at your pictures, you're grading him. He's making coffee. Yes, I'm secretary and. <laughs> Resident tired guy. <laughs> so, I wanted you to meet Scott because um, if you are putting pictures on, and if you're not putting pictures on, I'm not sure why because uh, we got a great site and we're selling images and we're getting it going. So, see this picture right here? We are going to show you how to do this in three steps. Cut an image out, put it into the shot, and make it look like it was uh, actually photographed there. There's a lot about there's a lot to this, so I'm going to split this into two or three tutorials. Let's start off with probably the uh, the simplest one, and this is where you are need to learn how to cut things out and bring them into a, into an image that you want to use. There are so many ways to cut something out in Photoshop. Um, this particular image right here, the dog. This is a great shot by John Mallory. Um, one of the student stock contributors. And we're gonna use his image to show you um, how to put this dog on the, on the beach. First off, like I said, there's six ways to do everything in Photoshop. I like to take a, a real simple one. Before I do something and spend a lot of time uh, making an image and then finding out it didn't work, what I do is um, I'll bring the image in and before I cut it out, I'll see if it gives me an idea whether it's gonna work. <laughs> So I'll show you what I'm talking about. This image is going to be brought into this image here of the beach. And I'm going to do it by just drawing this area real quickly in this image using the move tool, dragging that image over to this one and take a look at it and see if I want to even use it before I spend all the time cutting out. And Obviously, I'm going to want to use it, so I can do the cutout now, and here's how I do it. I'm going to zoom in and show you. There's lots of hairs and fur on this dog. I'm not going to be able to keep all that. I'm going to have to recreate that, so that's going to be part of this lesson. So here, here we go. I like using the magic wand tool. And there's lots about the magic wand tool, but we're gonna make some assumptions that you've used it before. And right now I've set the tolerance, and I'm gonna set it at 32. I'm going to um, click on the blue sky, and you can see it's picking the blue sky. If you look really closely, you can also see it's, let's zoom in even more. You can see it's coming into this into the dog a little bit too much. So I'm gonna lower the tolerance from 32 to 12. Click again, and now you can see it's not picking quite as deeply into the dog. So I'm getting to keep some of those, uh, the part of the fur and the hair. So, so, a lot of times I like to do this. Let's get rid of this grid line for a second so we can view it without it. That's click off extras, let's see if that'll yeah, that wants to show the grid line. I'm gonna to have to do that in my preferences. So we'll live with it right now. Ah, I figured it out. It was under view, show, pixel grid, and I just turned it off for those of you that had that same issue. And here we go. I'm gonna go, I've already clicked it. You can see the image is picked just the blue area. So I will hold shift and keep clicking, holding shift down, choosing more and more of the dog. Whenever I see an area like that, I'll click on it until I've chosen as much as I possibly can of this particular image. Now this is a change of color here, so I'm gonna go back to a higher tolerance. Right in the middle of working on this, I can change my tolerance. I'm gonna to go to 44, hold down shift, and click on the sand. Now I can see it's cutting in too far. So, Command Z, change my tolerance, and this is just what you have to do from working with experience. 
you got to find that right tolerance so that it does the work for you. So I changed it to 22 and that's looking much better. So I hold shift, I keep clicking until I've picked the areas that I want. Once I've gotten close like this, I'm going to change tools. I'm going to hold shift. I've now got the lasso tool. I'm drawing around these areas that haven't been chosen. Right there. That looks pretty good. I might have to do some other little cutouts in a little while, but for right now, you can see I've chosen this entire area. All I have to do is make sure I'm on that layer, hit delete, and most of that disappears. Now all you see right now is just the edges of the dog. And what I'm going to do in the next uh, tutorial is I'm going to show you how to get rid of that blue, keep the um, fur and hair, and I'll show you how to put a shadow in and um, make the color fit this image so that the dog has a little bit of red and yellow in it so that he looks like he fits on this image. And here is that final image again. Um, there it is. And that's what our picture is going to look like when we're done. Look closely. He's got fur showing. He's got the right size. He's got the right color. That's our goal. Come back for the next tutorial. Uh, this is Mike Agliello for Student Stock. We'll see you on the next one.